just got given a bicycle. So I can get back and forth to work. I might not put streamers on it, but I'll definitely represent the purple bicycle. Introducing my fancy 12 speed purple chariot, the one and only English bicycle. This is just my route to work. I'm gonna show you where I bike and how it goes. Hope you enjoy it. This is the tricky bit. Because there's a roundabout. Anyway, hopefully I don't die. And I'm just leaving town. Goodbye town. There it is behind me. And if you look really over there, it's very interesting that there's an old bunker that used to be used in the Second World War protection in case Hitler invaded. They're over in England. And there's nothing to do with nationalities. It's a sad affair on every single side. But it's a good reminder, I think, to those of my age who pretend sometimes that there's no need to be so appreciative of the moment, which is a load of old rubbish. You have to appreciate this wonderful freedom we have at this moment. No need for that anymore. So that's pretty cool. Alright, back off on my way to work. Here is the secret cut. I turn right, goodbye child. Sad hours seem long. As you can imagine, meeting a car on these roads can be quite fun because they come screaming around the corner and I eat it in the bushes. And sometimes they just see a leg sticking out of these bushes as I dive into them with my bicycle. Ah, good old England. It truly is an incredible countryside to bike through. And the funny thing is, it's a busy day. But on these small roads, as you see, nobody. Ah, there's a car! Ah! England. It may rain a lot, but it's worth it when it's sunny. After having regularly gone the difficult off-route, terrain, bumpy, gravelly, all sorts way, I've just discovered there's this place too, right next to the highway. Um, I might take this one next time, believe it or not. Might be a bit easier than off-roading with a road bike. Um, yeah, pretty excited. Look at this. Gorgeous. Lovely. Let's have plenty more of that. How's that? Lovely, and uh, thanks to the courtesy of Jim and Valerie, I have her beautiful bike, and uh, Jim dug it out for me. Oh, well, and well of done. course, the cameraman. It's all down to the camera and the man. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Jim. Thank you, mate. All right. I really got to get myself a real one of these. This is the free one, and look, I got. It's full of Madeline models. Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> what a fool. What is it? Just a an appointment, but just a notebook. Uh, yeah, so I can schedule everything in. Yeah. It's getting pretty full. It's good. So, um, it's been a long day. It's 12 o'clock. And uh, I've really enjoyed it, but it's been tough. I had a few bits of news that were difficult. I'm off for a run. I'll see you when I am all puffed out and sweaty. Just got back from my run. Uh, it was brilliant. And there was lots of wind, lots of sun, good stuff, good stuff. Now I'm just going to go downtown, pick up my money to pay my rent. 
Then it all starts again. Bit of piano playing, write some stuff, and work on some songs. It's going to be good. The favourite of the of the pack, it's my really dearest, closest friend, uh, my sister, Elian. And she's helping to manage me, and she's really, really dedicated. This is my evidence. Uh, she, I'm on Skype with her. And it is 8 o'clock in the morning, which for someone who's been working in the music industry and goes to bed at about 2.30 in the morning, that's pretty early. Um, but here she is. Just want to show you my sister on screen. Hello, Elian. Hello. <laughs> we're just catching up on the day and what we're doing. Shh, 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 can't tell them everything. Oh, no. And, um, yes, I just wanted to introduce you to everybody so you know who they are. This is Tim. This is Jim. Hi. Hi. This is Valerie. Hello. Also known as. Shake my tush. <laughs> Whoa. So, we definitely so obviously it was summer. We didn't expect this was the turnout. So anyway, um, <laughs> see what we're in for. <laughs> Hopefully we survive. It's nine o'clock in the evening. I'm listening to BBC One. I'm looking up the hundred best festivals in Britain. Sipping on a little bit of Cointreau. And writing a few letters to friends and uh, people. Um, sending off some stamps to somebody who's an avid stamp collector, mate of mine in Canada. She owes me a lot for this one. And basically, just going about finishing up the ends. I then get to learn some lyrics. Uh, that's about it for me. This is the kitchen. This is where I'm working. And Z is about it. <laughs> I am just in the middle of talking to my lawyer. Here she is. Lawyer Carrie. Related to the Queen. And this has to be everyone's favourite part of the week. Hello. I just wanted to share something with you. It's 12 o'clock. It's been a long day. Uh, I've really enjoyed it, but it has been tough. I have this thing that I say every night before I go to bed in the hopes that it positively influences the outcome of um, my next 10 years. It's called I Will and I Already Have. I will and already have become a household name in Europe, including England, North America, Japan, and Eurasia. I will and I already have written multiple hits and shared them with the world. I will and I already have political and social influence to positively affect over one million people. I will and I already have achieved this by devoting my passion seven days a week 10 hours a day to this endeavour. I will and I already have achieved this by being true to who I am, staying fit, positive, happy and open-minded. I will and I already have achieved this by April the 18th, 2020. So that's just something I say every night and who knows? Maybe it helps. <laughs> Can't hurt, can it? Hope you understand how I meant it, because it's not meant to be egotistical or arrogant. It's simply um, driven. Mm, well, I guess I have to say, time to say goodnight.